Well, let's talk about Trump, uh, of course. <laughs> He's set to be certified as a candidate in Colorado's primary ballot, despite the state Supreme Court recent ruling, which deemed him ineligible under the 14th Amendment. Let's bring in our senior Washington reporter, Devin Dwyer. I think, folks, this was thought it was a bit of a crapshoot, Devin, um, and if this was even going to work or be possible. Uh, but the U.S. Supreme Court uh, did take up that case, or they're going to take up that case, right? So how soon could we see it happen? Yeah, the odds are, Kira, that they're going to take up the case. But today, they're meeting for the first time in private in the new year. And also, since these Trump cases landed on their desk, we're still waiting to find out at this hour whether the justices will agree with the Republican Party of Colorado and expedite this decision. Jump in to take on this big question that a number of states have divided on. Is Donald Trump disqualified under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment? As you said, Colorado, their Supreme Court ruled he's disqualified. He's going to still be on the ballot as those ballots go to print it as long as the Supreme Court here in Washington is considering this case. So that's why we saw today that his name was certified there temporarily. But we will see, hear from the Supreme Court in the coming days on whether they will take up this case. And the stakes, Kira, are enormous. We've seen a number of states now issue differing opinions on whether Trump is qualified for the ballot. We're waiting for the Supreme Court to issue a final decision. All right, so the Supreme Court did decline to take up the question of presidential immunity on an expedited basis, right? So what are the next steps, and how long could the appeals process even take? So we're talking here about a separate case, as you know. This is the federal election interference case brought by special counsel uh, Jack Smith. And the question hanging over that federal case, can President Trump go to trial is he immune? Does he have presidential immunity? You're right, the Supreme Court didn't get into that just yet. That question is now before a federal appeals court here in Washington. That uh, argument in that case will take place on Tuesday. So we have several weeks or months to go in this ongoing legal debate about whether President Trump can, in fact, be tried, whether a trial should go forward. We know right now, Kira, it's certainly not going to go forward as planned in March, uh, but it's an open question. Another big one bound for the Supreme Court probably sometime later this year. All right, Devin Dwyer, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.